Today's learning intention is 1. To calculate the gradient of a straight line using the formula m equals tan theta. In step 2, rearranging m equals tan theta to calculate the angle a line makes with the x-axis. Our national five essential skills are our basic trigonometry skills and calculating gradients of straight lines. Let's start by considering a straight line passing through two points as shown x1, y1 and x2, y2. Now the gradient of that line is the change in vertical divided by the change in the horizontal distance. That's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. We can see from this diagram that the line is making an angle theta with the x-axis. Now theta is a Greek letter we use often in higher maths to denote an angle. Now using our basic trigonometry skills then and looking at that right angle triangle. Opposite the angle theta we have y2 minus y1. Adjacent to theta we have the side x2 minus x1. So again the gradient is just the change in vertical height divided by the change in horizontal distance which is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So that's just the change in the vertical divided by the change in the horizontal. But from this diagram that also equals opposite over adjacent. Now from your basic trigonometry you'll remember that opposite over adjacent equals tan of the angle theta. So now we have the gradient equals tan theta. Look at the diagram here. We have a straight line which is making the angle theta with the positive direction of the x-axis. So now we have an equation to memorise. Gradient m equals tan theta. Now you need to know this for the exam but it will not be given on your formula sheets. This means that theta is the angle the line makes with the positive direction of the x-axis, i.e. the acute angle shown. Be careful because sometimes you're giving another angle theta, which in this case I've just shown to be the obtuse angle. This is not the angle, that's the angle it makes with the negative direction of the x-axis. The angle you need to put into the equation is the angle theta which the line makes with the positive direction of the x-axis. We need to be careful about that point. Let's look at some examples. Example 1. Calculate the gradient of the straight line shown in the diagram below. So from the diagram we can see a straight line with a positive gradient and it's making an angle of 32 degrees along the positive direction of the x-axis. So we learned that the gradient m equals tan theta. So the gradient m equals tan of 32 degrees. Using our calculator, the gradient is equal to 0 0.62. Example 2. Find the angle that the line joining the point P, minus 2, minus 2, and point Q, 1, 7, makes with the positive direction of the x-axis. Now it's often bigger pattern. So the gradient equals 9 over 3, which can be simplified to the gradient equals 3. Remember in the equation m equals tan theta? Now we have to rearrange that. So in this case tan theta equals the gradient m so theta equals the inverse tan of the gradient m. So theta equals tan to the minus 1 of 3. And using your calculator, theta equals 71.6 degrees. Example 3. Calculate the gradient of this line. Now the diagram is showing a line with a negative gradient. And the angle here you have is 45 degrees, but is that the angle the line's making with the positive direction of the x-axis? 
No, we need to work that out. Okay, so theta equals 135 degrees. So m equals tan theta. Gradient m equals tan of 135 degrees. So gradient equals negative 1. And that's right, our diagram is showing we have a line with a negative gradient. Now just for clarification, if you had put into your calculator m equals tan 45, then you'd get m equals 1, which is wrong. That gradient's obviously a negative gradient, so you need to be very careful to put the appropriate angle into your equation. Now take time to try these examples on your own. I would like you to calculate the gradient of the lines in A and B, and then calculate the angle theta for the last example. You can pause this video and take time using your calculator. When you're ready to see the answers, restart the video. So here are the answer. Example A has a line making an angle of 70 degrees with the positive direction of the x-axis and the gradient m equals 2.7. In part B, we've got a negative gradient and it's making an angle of 30 degrees, but that's not the angle we're looking for, so be really careful for that one. In this case, gradient equals minus 0.6. Okay, the angle theta you have to put in would be 180, take away 30 degrees, it'd be 150 degrees. And then calculate the angle theta for the last one. We've got theta equals 21.8. Now remember from that diagram there are two points there. There's a point 0, negative 2 and a point 5, 0. You're using those two points to work out the gradient and then using the equation m equals tan theta to work out the angle theta. So how did you get on? Okay, if you don't have the answers that I've got on the board, take a moment to pause the video and go back through, see if you can find where your mistakes are. As always with higher maths, we'd like you to self-assess your progress. So if you write down your status, okay, R, A, G, R for red, A for amber, G for green. How did you get on? Tick either R, A and G. If you need extra help, please see your teacher as soon as possible. Now, if you've got time for some extra work on this topic, why don't you try page 1, exercise 1a from question 3 onwards. So what have we learned today? The gradient of a straight line, m equals tan theta. This equation is not given in the exam and it must be memorised. The angle theta can be calculated by rearranging this equation. Theta equals the inverse tan of the gradient m.